In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I was introduced to silver and who introduced it to me, how long ago it was, and how long it took me to actually grasp the concept and get started stacking for myself. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club right now. Join before July 1st for a chance to win. That's all you have to do. Just simply become a VIP club member. That's it, that's all. Link in the description. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about how I started stacking silver. It's actually a pretty interesting story. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today is Friday, June 25th, 2021. This video is gonna be coming out on Sunday, so I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today I wanted to talk about how I actually got started stacking silver. I'm not gonna talk about why I started stacking silver because I can't help but feel like that's probably pretty self-explanatory. I started stacking silver just because I wanted to save money. Save money in obviously a much different way than most other people because in my opinion, I believe silver stands a far better chance of holding value than the dollar bill. And I also appreciate the fact that I can do it on my terms not on the bank's terms. So we don't have to talk about why, because I think a lot of people get started sacking for the same reason, financial preparation, economic protection. So moving away from that, I wanted to talk about how I got started stacking silver. How did I discover the silver and gold stacking concept? Because let's be honest, most people don't just stumble upon the world of precious metals, usually you have to be introduced to it. So who introduced me to the silver stacking concept? How long ago did that person introduce me to the silver stacking concept? And how far in between being introduced and actually getting started stacking did it take for me to actually understand the concept? That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. And believe it or not, this was actually inspired by a small section of the Wednesday night live stream that I did in the VIP club just on Wednesday. Friendly reminder, link in the description if you wanna join. I do weekly live streams, monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, and much, much more. But there was a section of the video where someone asked me, what got you started? How did you begin? When did you get started? Who introduced you to the concept? So rather than reiterating everything that I talked about during the stream, I'm going to include a clip right here in the video to do the explaining for me. And after that clip is over, I'm going to come back on and I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I got started stacking. Here's the clip. Here we go. How did you get involved with stacking? Uh, me? Um, well, I started stacking the end of December of 2017, but I was first introduced to silver probably about two years before. Probably around, probably around 2015, I think. A good friend of mine, he moved when we were in high school. He moved on out to Pennsylvania. Uh, and then after high school, I reconnected with him and a couple of my hometown friends we had started this landscaping business and we were having a lot of fun and we were also doing marketing for the fitness and nutrition company. So we were doing like marketing and sales. We were selling their products and marketing their fitness programs and whatnot. So we, we were feeling like big time entrepreneurs. We're like, whoa, man, we're, we're getting commissions. We're doing landscaping on our own terms. We were feeling good. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, we were like 18. Then I reached out to a friend of mine who moved out to Pennsylvania 
and we were just talking about stuff, and he asked what I had going on, and I was like, well, we, we, we kind of started a, a business over here. Things are going pretty okay. We're, we're having fun, and who knows? Maybe we can really scale this and turn it into something big. Invited him back out to New Jersey. I was like, hey, you should come hang out for the day, for the weekend, whatever. We'll all hang out. You know all these guys from uh, middle school or high school right before you moved. We'll show you what we have going on. So he came out, checked it out, and he told me, he was like, well, I don't really have much of a way of making money besides my job, but I have an interesting way of saving money. And he told me that he had been stacking silver. He said every week when he gets his paycheck, he goes to the coin shop and he picks up two coins, two ounces of silver every week. And he had been doing this for probably maybe two or three years at the time. So I think he had a couple hundred ounces of silver back then. And, and back and at the time, I was like, whoa, what on God's green earth? I didn't understand. It didn't make sense to me. I liked the concept. I liked the idea. I just didn't really fully grasp it. I liked the way it sounded, but it didn't make perfect sense at the time. And it's something that I could have seen myself getting involved in, but at the time, I was so distracted by everything else going on. I was landscaping. I was uh, getting side gigs to help people move. I was loading up U-Hauls. I was doing anything I could to get some cash. And then for whatever reason, late 2017, I started thinking about it again. I was like, huh. Remember when Steven showed me that silver? Or told me about silver? So I started looking it up. Came across some channels like Overtax Taxpayer, Salivate Metal, channels like that. And I started doing some proper research. These channels linked me up with some articles that I could read, some other people's opinions. I did a little bit of research, and I, you know, formed my own opinion, came to my own conclusion. I decided that. I was like, all right, you know what? I think this is something that I could see myself doing. I think this is for me. I like how private it is. I like how it's, you know, saving money on your own terms. I like the fact that it's in your possession because I, I did have a couple problems with the bank in the past. I like the way it sounded. So I got started probably around like mid-December 2017. So yeah, that right there was about maybe a five-minute clip from a, believe it or not, two-and-a-half-hour-long live stream Friendly reminder, once again, I go live every Wednesday night in the VIP club, and I also do monthly giveaways. I have one going on right now. Join before July 1st to get entered. I also do daily silver and gold deal alerts. I post all of my videos early and commercial free. I post bonus videos, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, and so much more. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. Link in the description. But now that I showed that clip, now that I talked about the story of who got me started stacking or introduced the concept to me, a friend of mine named Steven, who had been stacking for a couple of years, he wasn't stacking all that aggressively, but he was stacking consistently. And if you saw the video that I posted, I believe on Friday, two videos ago, talking about intertwining the silver and gold stacking concept with the compound effect, small steps in the right direction, eventually taking you to where you want to go. And being that he wasn't stacking overly aggressively, but he was stacking on a weekly basis, it added up over time. And I thought it was pretty cool. I really liked the way that it sounded. And I don't know why it took me so long to actually get started stacking on my own. I like to think that I was probably just distracted by everything else that I had going on at the time. But something at some point, not exactly sure what it is, made me think of the conversation that he and I had regarding silver. And for the first time since he and I talked about it two years prior, I started doing a little bit of research. I started looking into it, just popped into my head one day, and I figured I would begin to study it a little bit. I really like all things money. I've always been a fan of business, always been a fan of real estate, even though I'm not involved in real estate. Never really cared much about the stock market until about 2019, but that's just because I didn't really understand it. I didn't know how to understand it. So 
When I learned about something else, a different form of money, one could argue the only real money that exists, constitutionally recognizes money, internationally recognizes money, biblically recognizes money, it's been considered money for thousands and thousands of years, and there's really no taking that away. It has history. It's historic money. And I like that. Probably my favorite thing about it was that it gave me a way of not utilizing a savings account. Because I've never had a savings account. I did at one point for just maybe three months and they closed it due to inactivity because I kept a grand total of zero dollars and zero zero cents in there. I didn't need it. Didn't really motivate me to put my life savings into it just for 0.0001% interest. Like, come on, man. It doesn't even be, it doesn't even match inflation. It's dying faster than anything else. So I knew that that's not what I wanted to do. So I chose to go with a physical at home savings account, something that was not going to lose value the way the dollar bill loses value because it depreciates every single day. It's losing purchasing power on a regular basis. That's the only thing that is guaranteed. They always say two things are guaranteed, death and taxes. I wanna add something to the list and that would be the dollar bill is losing purchasing power. There is nothing in the world you can do. There's nothing in the world I can do. There's nothing in the world those people over at the Federal Reserve can do to strengthen the dollar bill. Sure, we can strengthen the economy, but the dollar bill, in my opinion, is past the point of no return. Silver and gold, on the other hand, rather than being fake fiat glorified IOU currency that's losing value, the silver and gold are typically considered a way of storing value for the long term. It can be a hedge against inflation and preserve your wealth for the long term. Do I think or plan on getting filthy rich off of my silver? Absolutely not. Because number one, I don't have any plan to ever sell. Sure, I'll trade up if the gold to silver ratio makes sense to do so. Maybe I'll even trade some gold for land after I trade some silver for gold. Who knows? But I don't plan on selling. I don't plan on cashing out. The reason I put my dollar bills into the metals in the first place was to get as far away from the dollar bills as humanly possible. I don't want to go back. What's the sense in cashing out for a now larger amount of even weaker currency? It's like having a $20 bill and then it turns into $40 with half the purchasing power. It can still buy you $20 worth of goods even though it's 40 bucks later down the road. So I've seen it happen time and time again. And I've heard so many people older than me talking about it. I've heard family members talking about how they remember when they were young, they were able to go to the grocery store and they could fill up the entire shopping cart for X amount of dollars. And now that same X amount of dollars buys them a loaf of bread and a couple other things. I don't want to get to the point where I'm 40, 50, 60 years old saying the same thing. I want to be proactive rather than reactive. And thank God for my friend Stephen for introducing me to one of the ways that I store value, preserve it for the long term, and pretty much my main source of financial preparation. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Who introduced you to the stacking concept? Maybe you were just fooling around on YouTube one day and you stumbled upon my video or somebody else's silver stacking video and it kind of got the ball rolling a little bit, kind of piqued your interest. Maybe a friend of yours introduced it to you or a family member. Maybe they introduced it to you as a stacking concept or maybe it was more from the perspective of a coin collector and then you just branched off and started stacking for weight. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and how you got started stacking the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shoutouts, 
deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, how did you get started stacking the silver and the gold? Did you somehow figure out a way to just stumble upon the world of precious metals? Or did somebody introduce it to you? Somebody that you know, somebody that you trust, maybe a good friend, maybe just somebody in passing, maybe a family member, maybe your spouse. How did you get started stacking? Who introduced it to you? And once you were introduced to it, did you get started stacking right away? Or did it take you a little bit of time to do some research, to do a little bit of investigating, to figure out if it was actually something that you would consider to be worthwhile, something that you would consider to be worth it, something that you would consider to be the right fit for you? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.